And what I'm going to attempt to do this afternoon in a very short period of time is answer the question, or at least give you enough information such that you can answer the question, I have a LIMS, why do I need an ELN? And the way I'm going to attempt to do this is by giving you an overview of the significant benefits that can be derived by integrating LIMS and ELM. What we're going to do is review traditional LIMS functionality, uh, see where it is lacking from an execution perspective. Uh, we're going to review ELN functionality specific to the QC lab rather than the R&D lab. Uh, we're then going to look at the benefits as reported by the product vendors and as importantly, or perhaps more importantly, as provided by early adopters of this technology. Uh, we're then going to briefly discuss how ELN and LIMS uh, products are merging not that the functionality is changing between LIMS and ELN, but the functionality space is expanding in each of the uh, different types of product vendors. We're also going to briefly go over some critical success factors should you choose to implement ELN, and then at the end of that, we'll open it up for any questions that you may have. Standard LIMS functionality. A real key thing here is that the focus is on the sample. It's from the focus is on the sample from the time it enters the lab until the last report result is reported. It's not directly connected with actual test execution. And LIMS really isn't involved in the actual analysis of samples. It's involved in the uh, scheduling of analyses and the recording of results. It is not involved with what I call the execution layer of a lab environment. So what can a LIMS do? 